YouTube, it's your girl Desanya and I am back with another hair video. As you can see, I did some feed and twist in my hair. This is my first time, so bear with me, but I think that they did come up very cute. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button right now. And if you are already subscribed, hey, welcome back family. And I'm not perfect with the twist yet, so that is why I didn't really try to show you too much on how to do the twist in this video because I'm still practicing. This was my first time, so I didn't really, I mean, I got a hang of it after a while, but I still don't feel like I have it down packed in order to be able to tell you what I feel like you should do or not. But you will see me doing it anyway. And I think that as long as you practice, or even if you already know how to do it, and you just need, if you're just looking for a new style to try, I didn't see this style anywhere on YouTube, so that's why I decided to do it. Because I seen a girl who did some feed and lemonade braids, lemonade twists, and they were so cute, and I was gonna do that, but I was like, no, let me try to do something different. So I did pick a different hairstyle that I've seen with feed and braids, but I was like, let me keep the twist. And so these are the twists. I did, um, I did individuals in the back. So back here, I just did regular rope twists. And I did show that in this video, but I do have another video where I showed you how to refresh them, and I basically showed you how to do these as well. So right here, I'm just showing you that I did already pre-section of my hair, so I separated the individuals in the back, and I already rubber band method those, and sectioned those off, and then in the front, I sectioned off my hair so that I can have two sections of flat twists on each side and two going down the middle. I have 21 twists in the back, and this is just me showing you that I ain't bald head, period. <laughs> so this is the hair that I'm using, the Outre Jumbo Braid, which I told you that I have been using a lot lately. And right here, I'm just starting off with the braid, and then I'm going to start to twist. And you will see me continuing to do this. And I'm not going to spend too much time on the back part, so I am going to skip through this part. And I'm using the Eco Styler Curl and Wax Gel. burning your twist at the end if you pull and burn at the same time it will create a pointy effect and that will keep it looking nice and sleek and pointy at the end and since this was my first time doing the feed in twist i didn't spend too much time recording those because i was just trying to get the hang of it to be honest so at the point where i did come back on camera i only had three left but i'm only going to show you how i did one of them i'm using the cream of nature argan oil perfect cold edge control to smooth down the base of all of my flat twists and i'm pre-sectioning off each of the pieces that i'm going to feed into the flat twist So I'm starting off by twisting with my natural hair and the only reason why I didn't feed in the weave sooner was because this actual part of my real hair was a lot thicker. I used smaller parts on the back but since these curved a little bit I did have a thicker beginning so that's why I didn't feed the weave in sooner. So right here all I'm really doing is flat twisting the hair using the weave and it's kind of hard to explain so that's why I wasn't all the way up close because like I said this was my first time but basically you actually have to do the little twist to the right and flat twist at the same time like you're doing a little kid flat twisty and just keep doing that and once you're doing it it'll really make sense but once I get the hang of it I'll come back and explain it to you. Put some mousse on it. Mousse, um, this is the Vigoro brand, and 
super haul enriched with argan oil and this is the same one that most people used to use but it's in a new bottle so i'm gonna spray some of that I swear one day I will grow up and I will not be so messy, but until then, <laughs> I'm a fool. It's in the pink one. It has argan oil in it. Um, they have multiple colors. I do not know what the differences are in the colors. And at this point, I need my little cousin Anaya to come do my edges because I clearly am not a pro at this, okay? Because my seed would definitely snatch this right out and my hair would probably come out with it. Girl, really about to do the Mimi, though. And like I said, these are on here just for the sake of the video, just to kind of show you something that you can add to your hair just to decorate it. Um, another way that you can accentuate it, have it looking cute. I think these are cute, actually. Um, usually, I never thought I would like anything like this. So obviously, I have a big forehead because you see how far. <laughs> you see this big print. All I did was pull everything up 
to the ponytail and close my top too because I made sure that I didn't do these tight so that I could pull them back or move them or whatever because I didn't want any little movement snatching my edges out, okay? Okay. Okay. So what I did was pull everything back except for the two twists that basically were like twisted down right here. Obviously, if you pull those back, it might be pulling us to the bottoms of these. So I'm not gonna do that until maybe they grow out. But this is a style that I just threw it in. And I don't know why I didn't use my tripod. Look at all this jumping and climbing I did in this video, just to show y'all my hair. YouTube, this is Josiah and I am back with another video for my hairstyle playlist.